Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So right now, I haven't actually done this in the whole time I've been training Dungeoneering, but we're actually looking for parties on World 77. And normally I always have parties, but because the people I normally go with have either got 200 mil or they're busy, or they've got 120, we're now looking for different groups. We only have 4 mil until 120, so I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. We only got 120 magic yesterday, and it's, it's not that late right now, but we probably won't get 120 Dungeoneering till like midnight, so it'll be borderline the next day, but still, it's gonna be within the same awake hours, I guess you could say. But yeah, nonetheless, I look forward to this and I'll see you guys in a bit. Sweet, here we go, handing in this challenge right here. Super, super hyped, 357k, because I doubled it anyway, why not get more XP? And there we go, 120 Dungeoneering and that's our, like I said, that's our second one in two days. This feels awesome. And yeah, true skill mastery, which I'm hyped about. Another star next to our stat, which looks awesome. And yeah, thank you to everyone who's messaging me. I do appreciate it. I'll try and cut to a clip in a second with all of you on it. And hopefully that works. Let me just do that real quick. All right, there we go. So thank you, like I said, to everyone who messaged me. I do appreciate it. I feel like you've got into the routine now. If I put my private onto everyone, you know I'm going to get a milestone or something. And I'm going to try and do that a lot better because I used to be really bad at doing that. But I'm going to try my best now to do that. So yeah, everyone mentioning and messaging, thank you very, very much. And yeah, like I said, that beautiful star next to our skill, which is just cool. I'm, I'm really happy right now. I've got a bunch of other 120s I'm going to go for because I'm getting a lot of questions about it. So I'll get onto that in just a second. But yeah, 2,715 total. We are finally properly maxed now. So yeah, just it feels great. Let's, let's just go ahead and grab these capes. I'm going to have to blur out the chat here because someone was just being rude and inappropriate. So I thought I would just not include that on the video, but here we go, accept that. And there we have it, our second proper 120k, which is great. And all of us right now, we're all going to be wrapping it because Luke just got his. We timed this really, really well, to be honest, with the two 120s. It worked out just really nicely. And yeah, we all have them, which is sweet. Like I mentioned to you guys before, whenever you go for a goal or you have something you want to go for in game, if you find it quite boring, definitely do it with friends. It just makes it so much more fun. And if you set a challenge with someone, it just, I don't know, it makes it more fun for me. So I've just been chilling, doing some mining, and we just got this pickaxe to level 12. So by siphoning it, we got 130 million invention XP. I wish I was a better recorder and video maker, so I actually caught that on record because I missed 120 mil as well. So yeah, <laughs> a bit bad, but let's just change this target right here to 200 mil. It was on 150, but it's not much difference. It's literally five mil difference from 150. So I thought we might as well bump it up. It's going to be the first 200 mil, which is pretty hype. But um, yeah, anyway, there we go for a milestone. So we have right here the event for right now, which is actually pretty cool. It changes between the skills each day, which is, I think, quite nice because normally it's stuck on certain ones and it normally runs off a particular skill. But the fact that there's two different ones you can choose from this time and also it's quite nice because you can actually just save the, um, what are they called? You can save the tools that you get and use them on a different day. And even if you don't log in, you still get them, which is pretty neat in my opinion, because you don't have to log in to save up for them, to use them or stuff like that. You know what I mean. But yeah, I just think it's pretty cool. I just thought I'd record real quick, stop rambling on that. I don't even know why I was talking about that. Um, but I just wanted to record to say what my new goals are. I kind of briefly mentioned it earlier on about, you know, you guys asking me what I'm going for now. And let me just pull up the list on my computer real quick. There we go. So. My current five 120s that I have planned for the rest of this year are 120 mining, 120 fletching, summoning, defense, and constitution. Now, constitution is obviously going to be progressed on as I do normal skills and, you know, training defense and stuff like that. So I'm hoping those two, I don't know if they're going to go hand in hand because obviously constitution is a lot slower, but nonetheless, it will be definitely worked on whilst I'm training defense, which will help out quite a bit. So yeah, I'm not really too fussed about that one. It's just whenever it comes around, but the defense cape is awesome. I feel like most people have 120 defense, so I'm not that fussed about it, but it's a nice cape. So that's another one I'm going for. Summoning is actually, I mentioned it briefly, like, I don't know how long ago, maybe a few weeks ago, that I was going to work on that next double XP and I can afford it. The only thing that I need to save up is obviously the charms because the skill itself isn't that expensive. I have a friend who made an actual spreadsheet for summoning just to say what charms what xp how long it takes stuff like that and uh, yeah he gave that to me so i know what to actually work on i know how long it's going to take and 
all what I need. So I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it's not actually that costly. I just need to save up the charm. So I'll be charm hunting uh, probably very, very soon, but I'll probably end up just doing that through Slayer. The reason that Slayer isn't on this 120 list is because I don't know how long it's going to take and I don't want to put it on there in case I don't get it because these are ones that I definitely want to get this year and if it isn't then, you know, I just don't want it to be one of those things where I go for it and don't get it and get disappointed and whatever so these are the ones I definitely want to get and summoning is going to take no time at all so on double XP weekend that one will be done if I have the charms and fletching I want to get finished on that weekend as well because that can also be really quick if you do broads and it's quite pricey but if I do more PVM, save up for it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue anyway. So yeah, summoning and fletching are more of a double XP thing. And then mining is just a gradual thing whenever I want to AFK, which is what I plan on doing for the next couple of days. Because I've just been doing a lot of grinding recently and focusing and it'd be nice just to sit there and not really have to think about anything. But yeah, they're my plans in terms of 120. So for everyone who is asking, that is what I'm focusing on as of the next video. So yeah, pretty hyped about that. Oh, and also, I just want to add, I've changed my daily challenge to fletching now from dungeoneering, obviously, because I've done that one. And because fletching is a bible, I saw it as taking priority over the other ones I'm going for, just because they're not bibles. And it makes sense to do it this way, even though you have to pay for your supplies and stuff like that for invention. I just thought fletching would be a nice bit of XP each day to get me towards that cape. Cool, okay, so it's been a long time since I've actually trained mining and sat there. I've sat here all day. I've gone through three pickaxes, which is actually pretty cool because that's like 1.8 mil, just over 1.8 mil invention XP just from AFKing, which is nice. And it actually, I want to ask you guys this. I see a lot of people that don't have augmented pickaxes. Is the only reason for that so it stays in the tool belt and, you know, you actually have it on you all the time? Is that the reason why? Because it isn't that expensive to do. It doesn't make any difference. I just wanted to know personally. But yeah, there we go for 109 mining. I'm actually going to set myself a target for 120 real quick. And we have 69 million XP. We had 69 million invention earlier on and now 69 mining. So there we go, I guess. At least we're around a third of the way there. So this is the final pickaxe of today. Will it give me the pet, please? I honestly can't tell you guys how much I love this cape. I've been waiting for it for so long and it feels awesome, but I am still going for 200 mil. So if any of you guys are down and wanting help, obviously towards 99 or even 120 or 200 mil yourself, just feel free to let me know because I still want to go. Like I said, I still want 200 mil. I'm not going to be doing it obviously as much as I have been because I have new goals, but I'm still going to go a couple of times a week. So if any of you guys are down, then I would very much appreciate the company. That would be sweet. And as we're talking about this right now, I might as well bring up the bossing situation as well. I know a lot of you guys want to go with me to different bosses. I know you want to duo with me and stuff like that. And that is absolutely fine. I'm down for that 100%. I obviously haven't been that much recently, but I still have my loot tab, which I'm working on. I still have a bunch of goals. I want to go for Raw Vex, the pet. I ideally want all of the God Wars 2 pets, so I'm probably going to be there for a very long time. And I want to integrate bossing a lot more into my videos, at least one trip per video. And it would be awesome if you guys could be there and not support me with it, but, you know, just be there and make it a lot more fun for me. Because interacting with you guys, chilling out, having fun, meeting new people, it's what I really enjoy. It, it really, it makes the game so much more fun for me. And if you guys could be there as well, then that would be sweet. So yeah, just leave your name and your your preferred boss down below because that way I can add you to my friends list and message you accordingly to what boss I want to go to. I'm only really focusing like I said on Good Wars 2 so if there's anything other than that it will have to go at a different time because yeah I just want the Good Wars 2 ones ideally for right now but I can make exceptions here and there it's not that big of a deal but yeah let me know because that'll be very nice and should hopefully be a lot of fun. But on that note guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. Thank you all very much for watching and an even bigger thank you for being so patient with me on this skill. I know it's been in the videos for a very, very, very long time. Just, you know, I've been going every single day grinding it out and it feels really awesome to have it done because I don't have to go and do that anymore, worry about not meeting my goals. So now I've got new ones, I'm excited. We're going to go for these and just try and get as many 120s as possible, like I mentioned earlier on on my list. If I can get even more, by the end of the year, that'll be sweet. And if any of you guys have goals you're going for as well, let me know, because that'll be awesome. But yeah, thank you for being patient. It should all be more of a variety now. There'll be a lot more bossing, which I'm hyped for, making a lot more money, working on Slayer, all the good stuff, which I know you guys have been wanting to see for a long time. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up. 
And yeah, I'll just see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. I was thinking